This is the new Porsche 911 Turbo. And I know what you're thinking, it looks just like the old Porsche 911 Turbo. Wrong. So what exactly is new on the 911 Turbo? Well, it's hard to know where to start, but at the back is probably the best bit with the 911 Turbo. And of course, we have a brand new twin turbo engine. It's 3.8 litres this time instead of 3.6, and it has direct fuel injection, which not only gives it more power, it has 500 horsepower, but it makes it a lot more economical. It is 16% more economical than the old model. This thing will do 25 mpg all day, every day. Very impressive. There are one or two subtle visual changes, probably the most obvious of which are the new 19-inch wheels, which also happen to be two kilograms lighter per corner than the old car. That makes a key difference. And the big difference is, of course, this. And, at long last, these. They have fitted the 911 Turbo with a PDK gearbox, and not only that, they have got rid of the ridiculous steering wheel buttons. Now you have paddles. This one to change up, this one to change down. It'll cost you another £271 if you want the paddles instead of the silly buttons, because Porsche is stubborn enough to still think that the button system works. It doesn't, but this does, and it's great. Now I know it's taken Porsche quite a while to put a PDK gearbox in a 911 Turbo, but when Porsche does something like this, they do tend to do it properly. In this case, there's no exception. The gearbox in this car is off the dial. It is fantastic. So what you do, flick it over to there for manual. Four down changes just like that. Second gear, off you go. Third gear fourth gear and not only does it happen really really fast it's so smooth as well that makes a really big difference as to how usable and how drivable this car is on the road very very impressive deeply impressive this gearbox another thing Porsche has added to this car is a new set of engine mounts which probably sounds a bit spotty and it doesn't really mean much in the overall scheme of things but in a 911 turbo it actually does you need to have the sports chrono package which costs 2600 quid i think but for that not only do you get the electronic dampers and a launch control system you get these new engine mounts and what they do says porsche is really really sharpen up the turning and they eradicate that slight feeling of uncontrolled sway that the 911 Turbo used to suffer from when you turned into a really quick corner and I have to admit they really do work. This thing doesn't move around anywhere near as much as the old car. What really does define the 911 Turbo though, this one more than any other in history, is how fast it is. Uh, it's really difficult to put into words how much torque there is and how vicious the acceleration is when you put your foot down. Not just at high revs, but I mean, this thing develops its peak torque at 1950 revs. That means when you put your foot down at less than 2000 revs, it fires itself at the horizon. That alone is what makes this car so special. And you add all the other things into it, blimey. Best of luck Ferrari, best of luck McLaren, the very best of luck Noble. £101,000 this car is. At that money, it's pretty much unbeatable.